How are you? Uh, hey, you yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to ask you, I guess, first of all, about that interception. Uh, kind of unlikely, right, for a defensive end to come away with the team's first interception of the year. Just uh, can you kind of share with us what you saw on that play and then just how, how important it felt in that moment with the game still tight that, at that point? Yeah. Um, excuse me. Uh, yeah, they were, they were killing us with those screens in the first half. Um, that was about you know, a couple plays that they were really getting us with. So um, I was keeping an eye out for that. Uh, I think I was – I think I was uh, in a four-eye rush. I saw the, the tackle and the guard leave, so I knew it was a screen. I just kind of started backpedaling a little bit, see if I could read the quarterback's eyes, see where he's going to throw it so I can make a play. And he just kind of locked it up to me. Yeah, just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And then the, the game's still still tight at that point. I think it was 17-10 to 10 when you got that takeaway. Just how, how good were you all feeling about the defense's play and just – was this maybe the best the defense has played so far this year? Um, that's hard to say. Um, I mean, we definitely had a pretty good performance in the, in the first half. But, uh, I mean, it, to get to the first part of your question, yeah, I mean, it, it, it felt uh, it was a pretty significant play, I guess. But, uh, yeah, um, we, we, we were competing quite a bit in the first half, and we just – we gotta, we gotta finish. No matter what other circumstances are going on, or what other, uh, what other things are happening on the field, we, we need a lot out to finish. That's it. Hey, you guys were down a coach today, uh, obviously, or I guess a couple coaches, but uh, Les obviously wasn't there with you. What, what was different about game day without your head coach there? Um, I mean, for me personally, it, 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 uh, it felt the same. Uh, I mean, with Coach Miles gone. It, it, there is like a piece missing. Um, I mean, uh, he's the guy who, got, who brought me down here. Uh, love him to death. Um, wouldn't want to play for anybody else. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody on the team had any different attitudes or uh, any any different mentalities going into the game. It's just we're here to work, we're here to win, and uh, unfortunately, we came a little bit short. Hey, the, the defense finally got some takeaways today. You guys didn't have any in the first three games. Just what what do you think something like that can do just for your confidence moving forward? That was big. Uh, I mean, it, it's a it's a take in the L column, but uh, I think I think we performed pretty well, especially on those takeaways. I mean, those are huge. I mean, usually games come down to whoever has uh, uh, more uh, turnovers at the end of the day. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, we just need to keep working. Uh, Keep uh, keep drilling uh, and keep uh, being box and getting after that ball, trying to get, rip it out, get interceptions and all that. Hey, Malcolm, you and Caleb have only been in the program for a year. Then you got some other guys in the first year in the program. How much better can this D-line get, and do you see it improving? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Marcus Harris, uh, Adrian Terry, uh, Jeremy Robinson, uh, Caleb Taylor. I mean, we got a lot of uh, uh, Clinton. Got a lot of really young guys in there. And uh, I mean, I know uh, Caleb, uh, Samson, and myself, we still have two years of eligibility after this. And uh, I mean, we'll see if Sam wants to come back after uh, after this uh, after the season. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of room for improvement. We've only been for, with each other for about a year. I mean, we're, uh, Caleb and I both had a JUCO. We're basically just sophomores um, when it comes down to like high level NCAA play. So uh, the, I mean, the the ceiling is really, really high. Um, I got a lot of optimism for our group. One other question. You said you recognized that the on your interception, you recognized what they were going to do. Is that something you guys worked on during the weekend film, noticing that, or is that something you noticed during the game? Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's just something we drill week to week. Uh, I mean, screens are a pretty uh, big part of any offense's um, game plan. Uh, just got to feel when, that's, when, your, when your blocker leaves, and, I mean, you're not that good if uh, if you're turning the corner and all of a sudden your block is gone. I mean, I don't think anybody's that deep. Um, so you just gotta. They don't. The, they never account for the retrace. So you always gotta go, uh, come straight back down the line and make a play. We got time for one more question. Hey Malcolm, I know the offense said their struggles this year, particularly on third down. I guess what's going through your head when there's such a quick turnaround during the game? Uh, at least getting back on the field. Um. I mean, 
that that's it's, it's not my problem. Um, you'd love to love to get some long drives and some points, but um, at the end of the day, I'm here to play defense, and um, it's uh, it's it, it's not really um, my concern what what the offense is doing. It's uh, my job is to stop them from getting in the end zone.